We are just back from Tel Aviv tonight and this evening after Iran's first ever direct assault on Israel, more than 300 missiles and drones. What ABC News has now learned about a potential Israeli response. Matt Gutman on the ground in Israel again tonight for us. Tonight, new images of Iran's first ever direct attack on Israel. Video from a village near Israel's Nevatim Air Base showing missiles raining down. Israel saying they only caused minor damage and vowing to respond. And tonight, a senior U.S. official telling ABC News that response is expected to be limited. And the Israelis have told the U.S. they will retaliate very carefully. We press the Israeli military today. Is it fair to say that some sort of response is coming? We will know how to do and when to do and what to do. Israel's war cabinet meeting behind closed doors for a third consecutive day, but no final decision over how and when to retaliate. At a base in southern Israel today, we were shown one of those Iranian missiles recovered from the Dead Sea. What you're looking at here is the back end of one of those Iranian missiles. Right around here would have been the engine. And this fuselage here is actually the fuel tank. It is over 38 feet long, made out of steel. And right around here would have been the warhead, capable of carrying 800 pounds of high explosives. Israel saying 99% of the more than 300 drones, missiles, and rockets launched late Saturday were shot out of the sky. But for roughly 15 minutes, Israeli and U.S. officials stunned by the scale of the attack, fearing the U.S.-led coalition and Israel's missile defense systems would not hold. Iran saying that attack was retaliation for the Israeli airstrike in Syria that killed top military commanders, and making it clear it will respond quickly to any further action by Israel. David, with each passing day, the pressure on Israel to exercise extraordinary care here is increasing both here and abroad. And today, the Israeli military taking us to see that bus size ballistic missile, which they say could easily have taken out an apartment building. One reason that officials say that there has to be some sort of response to that unprecedented Iranian attack. And analysts telling us it could be covert, but it's likely to have a light footprint, David. Extraordinary image you witnessed there today really drives it home. 300 missiles and drones from Iran. Matt, thank you.